Thompson's committee had gathered a trove of information. The challenge, what to do with it. The one thing that we knew was the information that we have is compelling. And a douchebag. <laughs> the thing we needed to do was tell that to the American people in a compelling oh, way. A uh, compelling way. So that's why we brought in a former president <laughs> of ABC News. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I got a call pretty much yeah, out of the blue Did you? Um, from the January the 6th yeah, I got a call. They wanted, they wanted a storyteller. And Pause while they were brilliant, they were so brilliant. So we, we turned to a British storyteller for this. <laughs> Isn't that great? That mm -hmm. should tell you everything you need to know right there. <laughs> so I got a call. I, <laughs> ah! This is staggering to me. But I'm sure nobody's going to, nobody will pay attention to this. It'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, we mentioned at the time that, wow, they've got a, a guy from the, the world of TV mm -hmm. coming to produce this. Mm-hmm. But they're going a step further and saying, oh, yeah, it was totally like a miniseries. Yeah, well, watch this. Listen to what they say, how they compare it uh, to TV. And while they were brilliant, they were brilliant lawyers. Right. Storytelling for a mass audience is not what they do. That's not what they do. To bring in a guy well, like this mean? who would think outside the box yeah. really did prove to be fruitful. Did and it, it was Goldston who really began uh -huh. to envision this as, in as? a way, a kind of miniseries. That oh. there would be you know, sort of nine episodes <laughs> and that these episodes would tackle particular themes. Incredible. Attack on the Capitol. The investigation. The That's first the hearing theme. was primetime television. As the nation is about to witness a defining moment. Wow. The first hearing before the country, the results of the January 6th investigation. Mm -hmm. This is an extraordinary moment in American history. When it came to that first hearing, we knew how high the stakes were. Right. It's about to hold its first prime time hearing. We were either going to, you know, make people you realize know. that this was important, important, you know, or once once you've lost them, you've, you've lost them for good. Mm -hmm. On the evening of June 9th, 8.01 p.m., the doors opened. My heart was beating pretty fast on June 9th. Uh -huh. And it, it was a real question uh, of, uh -huh. yeah, is this going to work or not? All right, everybody, here we go. Five on the Jeez. line, please. I'm in this tiny control room right up the stairs from Cannon Caucus, and we count down to to the start of the hearing. And at that point, what can you do? Uh, not much. I'm thinking. Here we go. In three, two, one. Uh, and. The select committee to investigate the January 6th attack on the United States Capitol will be in order without objection. We wanted to make sure that this was a presentation that would grab the audience and hold on to them. Chairman Thompson loved to say, mm. it's got to pop. You failed. Hmm. You wow. didn't hold on to him. Wow. That's amazing. I Honestly, I don't know the answer to this. But I want to know if week two of the XFL back in the day had higher ratings than the January 6th committee. Uh, yeah, probably. That was probably. Uh, they 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 don't even hide it, man. So who did the special effects for him? Did they bring in Spielberg for that or Lucas Lucas Films? What's his What's the name of his uh, special effects? It's uh, I don't know, but it's like the state of the art one. Mm. You know, uh, that he's he's got in Silicon Valley. Mm. Nah, I forget what he calls that, okay. but maybe they came in and did the special effects. That's great. I mean, we well, knew it was theater at the time, but to hear them admit it is, uh, is interesting.